the Metricus wasp. This is a big wasp species. Yes, I will take a sting. The size of this wasp is irrelevant to me. This wasp isn't that different from you and me. We share many of the same needs. We feed from the same trees. This wasp makes decisions based on its colony's needs. Utilizing available resources, creating solutions. This could be the definition of premeditation. An attribute humans think they're uniquely possessing. I mean, they build a home in as good as possible given the situation to raise a family in. I mean, they look at real estate and prefer the one by the lake, river, or stream. They have social gatherings. I mean, they're called social hymenopterists for a reason. A creature as small as a bee has miraculously developed a sting that humans are avoiding. A wasp will risk its own life to save its colony, its mothers, fathers, brothers, sisters, family. Social wasps are amazing. They can take a man and make him famous. They protect our food from every single insect pest. And we resort to spraying deadly chemicals on the wasp food. And one of the same the food we're eating. Because we think we have a better solution. Wasps are really needed yet we fear them. Because of their greatness, companies make billions of dollars with extermination. They're basically selling us on self-destruction. We don't know the cost, the debt we're accruing. Wasp are great, I guess we're one and the same then. I'll be stung by the metricus, Wasp. Let's see if I change my reactions. I'm Alex, the host of The Great Outdoors. Today, inside of this capsule, I have a wasp species that I have featured on this channel before. It is known as the metricus wasp. It can be identified by a reddish maroon colored torso and a dark or black abdomen. That's the part where the stinger comes out. Now they have yellow legs, fire-like legs. This wasp species, I've been stung by once before, but I wanted to get stung by it again so I could use that sting as a reference to the other stings I've been receiving here recently. And to do a second sting so I can really know whether the first sting was a good representation of the species as a whole. Now this wasp species lives a pretty interesting life. It is known to live most of its life around waterways. And in fact, this wasp species has exhibited premeditation. It will actually decide whether it's going to forage for insects in the trees or along the ground, or if it's going to forage at a far distance or up close. And you can tell where it's going to forage by how it exits its nest. It will exit high if it's going for a farther distance or in the tree canopies, and it will exit its nest low if it's foraging along the ground. Now this wasp I found foraging along the ground. It is a beautiful wasp species, and I will induce a sting here today, right here on my forearm, and we'll find out just how painful this wasp species actually is. On the count of three. One, two, three. Oh, yep, oh yeah, it's pushing in nice and deep. Okay, I think it's stuck in my arm right now. Oh, I don't know if you can see that good or not, but you can see its stinger is pretty well stuck in my arm. Now, I think I might just go ahead and let it go and see if it stays in my arm. All right, I let it go. Oh, yeah. Ooh. <laughs> that definitely burns. Okay, now we have a red mark already, so that was a pretty good sting, and it's, ooh, yeah, it's throbbing. Now the question is, was the metricus wasp worse than the sting I took earlier today with the Pelesis Carolina? And uh, gosh, I think I received about three stings on this arm from Pelesis Carolina, and I received one really good, gosh, my arm's so firm already. Um, I think that because of the duration of the sting on the Pelesis metricus, it may have hurt a little bit more but it's only been a few seconds. It's certainly not something I'm gonna scream and roll around on the ground about, but uh, it probably burns a little bit more. I would compare it to probably dropping a hot ember on your arm, and then we'll just have to wait and see what the swelling is gonna be, prolonged effects, and if the agony or pain is greater over a duration of time. Right now, it's being pretty consistent. Um, it just feels like a hot ember is still on my arm, but certainly not anything that I'm going to cry about, roll around and scream about, but just to show everyone, as soon as I let go of that wasp, 
It wanted nothing to do with me. It wanted to be out of here. So it flew off. I let it go. That was my release. And I'll give you an update in about five minutes. All right, now this is that immediate sting that I just received about three minutes ago. I'm gonna go ahead and circle it so you can get an idea for the rate that it's swelling. This is about the area after three minutes that I would say shows signs of actual swelling. So let's just see what the prolonged effects of that sting actually are. Yeah. 